Contact Front, Drop Troopers, Book 1, Spoiler Review. Hello and welcome to my channel, Unity151. My name is Joe, here to wear sci-fi major, sci-fi space opera books and audio books. Please like, comment and subscribe. Boom. We're talking about that one there. Contact Front, Drop Troopers, Book 1 by Rick Partlow. Um, I'm going to talk about what how I ranked it. Like each things that I like, the five categories that I like, I will be looking back and forward because I'm trying to remember it. And I'm going to talk about the specific categories and the things in each category that I liked. Obviously, it's as much spoilers as I'm going to talk about, as much as I can remember. Everything is. Uh, I talk about everything that I pretty much can cover, I think. So, yeah, we're going to dive into it and spoiler it out, shall we? I'm going to tell you how I ranked. My five categories, and then I was going to just talk about the story, smash out, give you as much information as I can remember. So, world building and um, story. I get four out of five stars. I liked it. It was fair enough. It was good. Characters. Alvarez, the main dude. He was good. I really liked him. He's a solid four-star character. The secondary characters... They weren't that good. You had a couple. <laughs> There's Mutt, who I talk about. I forgot to talk about him in the non spoiler one. Oh, Mutt's funny, I like him. Uh, then you've got Scotty, and then there's the Gunner, and then there's the oh, Captain, I forgot his name again. I've got it. No, it's I'm going to look away from talking. They're the only ones I really remember. They were good. I like them, they were good, but they weren't. Even that, they weren't like up there for me personally so that's why I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 um, and after they've got the battles battles they were okay just over too quick I'll talk about what happens in the battles they've got a 3 out of 5 for me then I've got uh, technology and the weapons of war I'll give that a 3 again because it's just the suits you've got to drop, talk about drop ships and you talk about um, some other bits and bobs but like the, you hit the ship, ships bombard the planet and stuff but you don't know nothing about them I like a bit more of an all package personally, or sporting. Like you know, if you've got drop troops, they could drop some tanks down there, or some sort of like, you know, if we've got three meter tall suit things, why not some couple bigger mech things, or some smaller little drones, or something, you know, some like float, you know, some little drone planes buzzing around. Some, you know, some second for me personally, a bigger pool of everything, because you don't just have one single thing because once the the enemy can counter your one trooper well that's it you kind of vest all your main troopers and you fuck now <laughs> so really you want a bit more of a, a spread out cast of war we war machine basically that's what i feel personally so that got three out of five for me and then uh the aliens now the aliens to tony tory tony tory tory oh to tory tory the tory i think it's tory I'm probably saying it wrong. I even just listened to it again just to make sure. Now, I like them. They're really cool. The aliens, the enemies, I give them a 4 out of 5. I like them. You don't know, you don't really know. You, they look like a humanoid face, but I don't think you actually see one. They've always got the helmets on. Bit of mystery behind them. So, I like that. So, overall, I give it a 3 out of three and a half stars out of 5. For me, that's a good book. I'm happy with that. There's no such thing as a five-star book, personally. Three-star books, perfectly fine. Three and a half-star books, perfectly fine. Four stars, perfectly fine. And four and a half, you know, to be a four and a half, that's like the top rank. I'd probably ever do a book. And yeah, that's that. Right, let's do it. So from the top, start with Alvarez. He's a little hoodlum. <laughs> He's a the whole Earth's Earth in previous wars had bombed, blown up. And, we humans have destroyed Earth, so like they've got like mega or super cities and stuff because Earth's just derelict and just crap, basically. Um, Alvarez, he's like a little criminal, or whatever. He has a altercation with um, some cartel dudes or whatever it was. The way a cartel guy gets killed, he go he gets arrested. So he gets the ultimatum: take the red pill, the blue pill. What are you gonna do? Join the military, the Marines. Fight the aliens, or go to prison, or grass up your partner, which was, I think his girlfriend, or they maybe just broken up. 
she's dating someone else, and he's like, hmm, okay. He's quite chilled. Sarcastic, but chilled. So that's that's where it's all there. That's it. And as this happened, so, sorry, with the, so the military history, of what's going on with the war, that's all at the beginning as well. The Tawny, Tawny, I think their name is, Tawny and her humans, they had a fight, they sort of paused it out, that was that. Then they had an amnesty, amnesty line, I think that's the word. Peace was there for a while, then they um, broke the peace, bombed, nuked, took over planets, invaded Earth, took a load of colonies over and stuff, not Earth, invaded all, all, the, all the other colonies and stuff. Um, then the humanity was on like a counter push, I think, or something like that. Then, well, it's gonna do it. It's about to do a push. It's about to, yeah, let's do it. You know, for humanity, Wah, let's go. Wah. They get hammered at Mars. Absolutely decimated. Lose all their big ships. They've lost all their everything. All their all their big ships. Everything's so their up shit streak. So that's why they're recruiting criminals and giving them a choice. You know, get a jail free card basically, or come and fight. So they take up the fighting. Most of them do anyway. So with this, off he goes to training. Goes through his training, he's got a real knack for it. He, he learns how to use the suit quite quickly in the simulators and stuff. He's very good. He can, um, he's just really good at just looking, killing. You know, he's got ultra instinct. That's what he's got going. He can just shoot, shoot, kill. So there's little rocket things. I think it's rocket. Yeah, it does rockets. He has, while he's in the training, he's full. He's, there's some guy who he ends up falling out with. Called Cunningham. Cunningham. He is what I would have thought like a pudgy, pig faced, full little bulk of Marines I should have anyway. Bit overweight, not fat, but a bit overweight, a bit more rolly, a bit probably I'm going on at the moment. Just a bit bigger and just a bit of a bully. I see he's a bit of an arse. So that's who he has conflicts with. They have a bit of a fist fight and a few other things, and that's just that's the drama. That's that is your one. That's that's the antagonist, really. That's that's who's got their little conflict. The aliens are just because it's training at first. You're building aliens. They're not really they're the baddies, but they're like the overlooming badly. Cunningham's the problem. I had no problem with whatever you know their their disagreement, their fight. You know whatever that was fine. It's all progressed the story. Um, as it was sort of going on, you had flashbacks of what happened to um, Alvarez's family. His mum got shot by a gangster through a window. So these gangsters were having a, or a cartel were having a fight. He got, she got shot. Um, when they they stole the car, the dad, his brother, and him, he's only young, stole the car, went off. They took the pet, the dad, and the boy. The brother, he got left on his own. He then found a city, went to the city, and he just lived in foster care and all them things, being picked on, fighting people, just the shit life basically. And that's why that's why he is what he is. That's sort of the I think you have three flashback movies, four flashbacks throughout the books. That was alright. I that was alright. Sort of, they give you a bit of like you a bit more understanding of why he's like he is, but I'm I was quite easy just knowing that he just had a shit life anyway. I didn't really need that. But it was alright, added. So then he goes through the training, all the stuff, it gets better, he knows what he's doing. Then one of the first few training fights that um God, whatever his name is, his antagonist guy, they have um he shoots him in a training drill and then they have a, have a big argument and then Gunny gets angry at Matey Boy and then threatens him, whatever. A bit more drama goes on with that, but that's pretty much it. They they kind of it's not too dramatic, all that stuff. So one of the first missions they have is they're just attacking. It's nothing big. It's just like there's only like a few of the enemy troopers there or whatever. It's a small operation. They land. They go in. He's just blasting and doing them all. He's killing quite a lot of them and stuff like that. And then it turns out, but it was so, it was so quick. It's sort of saying I said the other what my stars was. The fight was going on. It was just it was over real quick. It's going in there. Whatever's going on, blah, 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 whatever, shooting stuff, or big mech guns, I don't know quite. I think they've got mech guns like that. Pictures there, I can't just see it. Whatever way, the shoot kills it, he kills loads, he's all like, he's like, oh, you know, he feels good that he's done whatever he's done, all that stuff. And it turns out his 
wingman, Buddy Express with him. <laughs> he got shot. He got shot. I think he moved or he shot the guy. He did something which then deflected the rocket or knocked the guy to fire the rocket. And it's killing his buddy, blew him to pieces. Like clatter everywhere, you know. Obviously, he didn't know at the time. His his comms went went out, so he couldn't hear nothing. So then there's a bit of drama because because he's done such a good job of killing the 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 enemies and getting the job done, but he's not working as a team. So then his squad resents him, and then their buddy got blown up. <laughs> not because of him. He just dodged dodged a rocket or knocked the rocket away from him, but then killed his mate. Uh, it's, it was quite good. There was a few things like that actually. You know, it's like he's done a good job, but he wasn't really working with his squad. But he got he got fast tracked up as well. He was through training, and they fast tracked him up. I think because he was quite good, as well as because the war was going really badly, and they needed to get more people, you know, fresh bodies and stuff. So there's, and there's, then he's got a bit of an issue with his squad, and then the squad don't really like him, and then they sort of slowly come together over the story. Then they go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> then a cunning hand, that's the guy I was talking about. So then cunning hands there, Cunningham, Cunningham, yeah. Cunning hands there. He's getting drunk with his mates. Um Alvarez's squad's there. He got lost because he didn't want to turn up with him, then he had to get help, found his got there, whatever. Um Gunny wasn't there, but it was Scotty and like the other ones, I can't remember the other ones it was. Then you've got so they, cause these guys they, they go in just big the big big old armoured suits. And then you got people who don't have armor suits. Um, they're like special ops, spec op people. I think they call them or rangers. I, I can't remember. They don't like each other. They don't have a big fist fight. People beating up each other. He's not. Alvarez isn't really trying to fight. He's sort of like dodging, not trying to get involved. Then the MPs come in. Cunning now. Who started the fight? He does a runner. He don't get in trouble. Everyone else, well, most of them get arrested. Half of them do a runner. The rest of his squad, do, <laughs> they all leave because they don't want to get arrested. He don't get in trouble because they need fresh bodies. But um, Scotty had to walk over like miles to come and rescue him and or bail him out, take him back. So that was quite nice. That was a good bit of character development or character stuff, or whatever. That was that. It's someone called Mutt. Now I like this Mutt guy. He was like a he, he's a, he, he's one of the guys who works on the suits. I can't remember how he was now, but he was very um. Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's. I don't know, he's got dirty, like, gravelly voice, but, like, dirty. He's like a dirty... I don't know. He was really cool. I liked him. I can't remember what he's talking like now. He, he really helped kind of, um, Alvarez learn what to do with the suits. It's so, like, the suits are connected to you, but you can go through the the, uh, or the interface or whatever and the settings and change, take over other people's suits and stuff. If you take the dead body out of getting a suit, you can take over the suit. Shoot without having... To, you can shoot while shooting as long as you lift your your chest plate up so you can see and all these little things that most they don't teach you what to do because none of them you probably die anyway so he taught him all this stuff which obviously comes in handy later so Matt he was good he, that was the only one little thing he, he was in it just that one little bit but he was like for me he was like a golden character I liked him I would like to see him more hopefully in the second book you see him more I did like him I think after the that mission they went on another training mission and then they went to the main fight. Now, uh, the captain, I've got his name here, Captain Covington, that's it, he's very, um, everyone thinks he's like invincible because he's been around for a long time fighting. He, um, he's another typical old captain, you know, grubbly, quite, he's quite relaxed, quite chilled back. He's given like the big final briefing, everyone's just sitting down or chilling, no one's, he's not like, um, stand up, that's it. To attention, bro. All this stuff. You know, he's very chilled. Like, oh, right. That's an American voice. He's got real gra gra gravelly, old git voice, and he's talking to everyone, telling them what they've got to do. So the next mission, they're going to this planet. I've got the planet's name here. It's Regenta. Regenta, something like that. This planet, a bit like our Earth. Bit of a crap hole. Um, it's one of the one of the planets that the oof, Tory Tory Tor, Tawny Tawny took Tory took. Um, I 
fuck you do with my hands? <laughs> so the plan is, got the planet, they've got the base they want to attack. They've got, there's a one large city where they've still got humans on because they, they, they've kept the humans there as um, costages, I guess. They said in the book they didn't nuke them, that the Tory didn't nuke them to like not um, break the amnesty. So I don't know if there's a bit more to this story about, because originally they did, they attacked and nuked and destroyed all these things and they did and a bit of a side thing. So what the humans think is the aliens, so these aliens are tawny, tawny, tawny. They look like a bit human-y looking. They, um, they're a bit, so the males and the females, there's only males fighting. The females don't fight because then the males get horny and they fight even more and then they get all crazy because they just want to have sex with the females. So the females have to be scooted off somewhere. Don't know nothing about them. They're not allowed in the picture. So the, so the males aren't wanting to have sex with them so they get in the fight. Or so they just focus on fighting because they get all, you know, jeered up, all, all in heat like dogs. Um, they, their leader... They look at him as like some sort of emperor god kind of thing, I believe. And all land is sacred. That's kind of the the gist of it, I believe. Maybe butchered it, maybe not. It was interesting. I liked it. So, with this, that's why the humans believe they're attacking. I think there might be more to it. I don't know. I'll find out in the next book. So, with this, the attack. Back to what I was saying. So, you got the planet. They've got the base they want to attack. It's got a big shield covering the planet. So the plan is on paper. Ships turn up. Ships bombard. Drop ships come. Drop troopers drop. Go in. Kill the people. Drop the shield. Bang. Got the planet. Everyone's good. Oh, works. Right. So, so as the mission starts, uh, I say Alvarez. It is Alvarez. Alvarez is on the ship, whatever, I was going to get in the briefing and tell him all this stuff. This is a side point. He saw one of the ships, which was um, inside one of the ships. It was crammed, absolutely crammed. So I'll get to it in a little bit. So it's all crammed. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's a side point. The ship's crammed, full of um, everything, all the suits and stuff. So they've got a massive bolt. They're bolted up. There's full drop troopers galore going on. So, plans going on. Boom! Fleets blasting the planet. I don't know what these ships look like. Don't know nothing about them. They're just ships blasting the shield. Shield's getting not hammered, but the shield's hard. It's, it's getting hammered, and um, drop pods come down. Now this reminds me of Live Die Repeat, um, which was whatever his name's movie um, that he done. Imagine that with the drop troops come down. You know it goes really bad, doesn't it? So the drop troops come down. Bang! Bah, bullets, rockets, everything. Smashing the pit, they crashing into each other, torn to pieces. They're all falling out. Death, destruct. They all get what? No, most of them die. They all get slaughtered, absolutely hammered, because the the the, the special op force blokes who've gone first were supposed to go in there and knock some something out. They didn't do their job. They dropped the ball. <laughs> they messed up. They yeah. So they got they it went bad. Alvarez falls out of his ship. He flew. Flies, falls down, ah, you know, he's gonna die. No, he lands in a bit of water. Just about. Well, I think he kinda of aimed for a bit of water, will we? He lands in a bit of water. So, with that, his ship's no good. His suit's no good, sorry. He gets out the suit, comes out, he's all like, oh my god, you know what I mean? He's bad. He's not in a good way. Some rebel fighters pick him up, find him, take him back. They um they're still like rebels who like obviously the city's been taken over, occupied, the plant's been occupied, but still rebels doing stuff and that's how they get a bit of oh, a fly there. Um, that's how the humans get their information from the rebels. So the rebels have got him and he's you know he's like oh, I've got to finish the mission con rallies them all up in a bit of a way. So what he's gotta do he's got to go and knock out over because the shield's getting hit, all the power goes to the shield. So if you one of the other things if you hit must hit the generator I don't think but if you do something to the reactor or do something to something there because so much energy is being used it causes it to short and it just, that's it blows it up doesn't something happens doesn't work stops it does what it's got to do 
So he then, they, sorry. With this, the rebels have got a um, uh, another drop troop of soup thing, which someone else died, who got a crash and died. The soup's okay. He gets in the soup, luckily, because of Mutt, good old Mutt, told him what to do. He can not hack in, but he can change the settings, you know, turn the screen to brightness so he can get on to what he's got to do. Gets on the, gets on the soup. Um, they have a bit of a little complication with the aliens with some green stores shooting some aliens because the aliens sort of pop up. They then go get a satellite, send a satellite up to space, tell the humans, don't nuke the planet yet, we've got a plan. <laughs> so, so fleet, just give them a little bit of time. He goes off with his with all of them. They go in there. It was real quick, this was. Kills a few aliens, does what he's got to do, blows it, does that's it, shield goes down. Uh, yeah, then it all blows up. Some bird, some bird, some lovely young lady, some girl, I can't remember her name, who's one of the resistances. Um, boom, blows it up. That's that. So just for pause, remember saying. One of the resistance fighters, I think his name was Shepard, his daughter, I can't remember her name, him and Alvarez, they get it on, they have a bit of hanky panky in the grain storm. Grain store, grain store. I don't know if it's grain store, it's just a farm or something. But anyway, they do that, then they all go. So she's with them fine. He's kind of found it. He's a bit, not loved up, but he's a bit loved up. Do the mission, boom. Reactor goes, big explosion. He tries to save her in the bunker. No, burns her, kills her, charcoal. She's dead as the dodo. Poor old Alfred, you know what I mean? I feel bad for him. He's had it quite bad with women. We find out through like the flashbacks and obviously his ex girlfriend. Got a new guy. That was that. That was pretty much all the battles. They was okay. Like I said, they were just very short. But I still enjoyed it. It's fairly good. After the mission, back onto the ship, he gets sort of fixed up because you can grow everything back together. Um, like I said, everyone died. Gunny died. RIP Gunny. I like Gunny. Uh, Scotty survived. Another one survived. Kind of the other one is Cunningham survived. He wasn't in his squad though. But Cunningham survived, but his, his spine got snapped, so he's got to regrow his spine. Alvarez goes and talks to Gun um, Cunningham. They sort of they hash it out because there's no point holding grudges when you know there's an alien species trying to kill you, and these two are just bickering between each other for whatever reasons. Um, then they're in that. Then after that, he goes into that room where all the troops were originally and it's obviously not even like half of its fault they lost loads of people so that's kind of a bit of like oh you kind of understood you felt that oh, i felt that bit anyway about you know everyone died and stuff um after that then he gets a rank i think it's oh what does it say staff sergeant he becomes staff sergeant so what happened basically this is how dire it is in general he get ranked up because he, he was squad leader or group leader or whatever it is and then he's now whatever staff sergeant he's gone up again he's got to train the next load of people even though he's not long been out of the training himself he's got to train the next load of people um, Scotty so I think he took Scotty's position yeah he's took Scotty's position Scotty's took Gunny's position obviously Gunny's dead so it's kind of like it's, it's a bit of like a not a gut punch but like it was a bit of like a um, I felt the weight of it you know like I, I felt that that He's got to take his position. He's got to take his position because he's dead. They're just shifting people up. New recruits come in. You sort of get a little glimpse of him training, some, talking to some new people. Shepard, not Shepard. Um, oh, Covington. He survived. Thank God. I like him. Old <laughs> Chris Lee, old gits. He's he survived. Um, another lady survived. I can't remember who she is. She, I don't know who she is, but she, she, she was in it. And turns out she's old. Donkey's years old, a couple hundred years old. She's been in loads of wars and stuff, which no one knew. So that's kind of, you learned a bit more about some more wars and human technology and stuff because she's old and survives and stuff. Uh, that's it, really. Yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Oh, so I'm tired, really, really, really tired. I had a bad night's sleep. Um, book was good, three and a half stars. That's good. I've got the next one, so we'll start the next one tomorrow or something like that maybe um, get the book it's good 
support the guy. I am. I've got the next one. I know he's doing the third one. I think he's finished the third one. Or he's about to finish the third one. That's got to come out. Because I actually spoke to him on Keystroke Medium. They have like a little thing on Facebook every Monday, which is today. Yesterday. Yesterday, because it's coming up Tuesday. Um, yeah. Get the book. I enjoyed it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That's all I can say. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Comment. Drop me a comment. Tell me how amazingly terrible or good I am. I don't know. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.